In no way am I saying Super Metroid's a bad game, by the way. Just that Zero Mission and all that capitalized on it. So if they made a Super Metroid with controls like this, we'd be fucking set. Because then it would, wouldn't control like an asshole, and it would be great. And it's already great, but it would be even better. Just without really fucking annoying controls. That's about it. There we go. Look, we're doing great. Oh, shit. Plus, there is some boss fights in there that I'm kind of worried about. There was one I learned that there's a simple solution to. I'm like, wow! If only I had known that before. Like, there's a lot of secret things in, like, um, Super Metroid that I just don't know the answer to. I don't know if they've ever used it in other games, but I know in Super Metroid there's a way where you can convert your missiles into health. So, like, you do some sort of crazy button combination, and it's like, by the way, your missiles, you're losing missiles, so it'd be like... And then you'd gain, like, health by doing something like that. Obviously, it's not literally you shooting the missiles, but it's a transferring of energy that somehow exists, and I don't know how the fuck to do it. When you try and look something up like that, it's, like, really oddly specific, so it's kind of not easy to find on Google when you type in, like, hey, how do I turn my missiles into health kind of thing. I've never found the answer, and I've, I've known that that's been an existent thing for years, it just, I don't know how to fuck to do it. That's pretty much all there is to say to, about it, really. We're pretty close to the end. Oh! That was water. Oh yeah, I remember this, this is fun. And when I say fun, I just mean it's, it's like, it's pretty because waterfalls, I like waterfalls. <laughs> Especially in, like, video games. And I say that because they mean something, I guess. Like, there's a secret behind it. Like, right there! I didn't mean to do that. I was actually trying to stop myself. I was trying to jump before that happened. So that's that's a little thing, is you gotta be careful in the water because you'll fall down. But as I was saying, like, in, in video games, they mean secrets. Hey, man, there's, like, a heart piece behind the waterfall. In Gomon, there was a fortune doll behind the waterfall. Z uh, Zelda, there... Excuse me, that was the way you get to the Zora's Domain! Um... Trying to think on Mario waterfalls. I don't think Mario's ever had any sort of no Oh, oh, the metal cap. There you go. I always wonder if they would ever consider bringing back power ups kind of like that, like the metal cap, because I think that'd be cool, especially if they could find a unique way to do it. Like, um, what was it? They brought back the B thing from Galaxy to Galaxy 2. I want to say there was other. Mm -hmm. Up. Up. Okay, so that just means you can fall down through it, I guess. I want to say there was other uh, power-ups that didn't make returns, but yeah. Also, I think it's kind of funny how you know everyone's like, "Oh man, Samus must be really mad that she loses her power-ups." But in this game, it's like you start with 30 missiles, and it's never explained why she does and doesn't have what she does and doesn't have. It's just, hey, here's the way it is because here's the way it is. Uh, I think it was Prime 2, she got fucked up. Zero Mission, she got... Or, no, not Zero Mission, excuse me. Prime 1, she got fucked up. So, like, her stuff got disabled, and then everyone's uppity about, um... Other M, because he's like, No, you're not allowed to use that! Which, you know, that's a fair argument in some cases. Like, missiles. But something like a power bomb, I think that's a justified reason to say, Hey, don't use this, because, you know, um... That can kind of kill everybody. I, that, I believe that was the storied logic behind it. Yeah, cause it's just gonna take us down. I wonder if there's something there, but I don't want to do all that trekking again. I don't know why some people... It's, they're like, Sam's taking orders from a man. Like, who cares if she's taking orders from a man or a woman? Oh, this is my favorite part. One thing I never understood is people give, like, Sam a shit about the whole PTSD, but no one gives a fuck that Chris Redfield has PTSD in Resident Evil 6. Like, it's the same fucking thing, but people are just, like, upset about one thing because she's a woman. Like, can we be honest about that for just a minute? They're only mad because it's a woman. Anyway, there's, um, we're not collecting any more power-ups. This is it. This is the final stretch. So there's there's no more earthquakes. We are just about done. And I love the way that they close this out. So right here we have nine Metroids in the area. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's all it takes. You have no idea how fucking refreshing that feels. 
after going through all the stuff we've gone through to just fight regular Metroids. Take a look, make sure there's not a regular Metroid file. But yeah, no, I, I just, I love it because it's like, hey, here's nine, and then you just fucking decimate them. And it makes you kind of miss the old Metroids and the way that they show up in Zero and in Super. Uh, I don't remember if they proper showed up in Fusion. It's been a while. I remember Fusion just having an overall different, uh, I'm gonna say plot setting. Uh this fusion's a fusion's a bag of worms on its own. Oh, here we go. And it's also cool how they feel like such such predators. So like right there, that dude he was waiting for his moment to strike before he took advantage of it. Oh shit! I was looking at the timer as opposed to what was going on in my video game. Because since we're so close, I think we're gonna get where we need to. I'm going to want to backtrack in a minute after I clear these assholes out. On top of that, they're not even like a challenge. So yeah, it, it, it does kind of feel like maybe this would have been appropriate earlier, but it just it feels like such a nice little bit of closure to where it's like you went through all this stress and now your stress is gone. We have one left. Okay. I believe it's um right around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back real quick and I'm going to save so this way if I die, because here's a secret for you, this ending is very, 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 very prone to glitching. Now because I'm using version 1.0, it's very possible that this may have been fixed, but it's also very possible that Homeboy didn't do it because he got it taken down, so anything I have to address, I don't really know if he can solve. It's not his fault, it's just... It's a thing that I gotta really be cautious about because I might have to redo this if I'm not careful. Anyway, one second. Okay, I went ahead and I saved this way in case anything bad happened. I didn't have to refight all eight of those Metroids. That was good. Um, don't fret too much about this. It's, it's actually really not that bad. So pretty much the point is just shoot her in the face and then dodge her face. That's it. It's not too bad. So what she'll do is she'll start shooting stuff like this out. Let it just shoot up and then let it fall onto you because she's going to provide you with plenty of ammo and stuff. So right now I've got the choice to switch back to super missiles but I'm going to say no and then just wait. So, right now, I think it's uh, better for me to uh, not do what I'm doing. And then every now and again, she'll do something like that. So now I want to switch to Super. And then just move forward. She's providing with plenty of health and all that that you need. Um, it's pretty much, I guess, just tank the hits. But she's not hard because she's not. she's got a huge hitbox. It's just hit her a bunch of times. And then when she's dropping health on you, you know? It's not too bad. And on top of that, you could always use the charge beam and then suck that up, too. Switch. That hurt. But, yeah, she's really easy, but I really like her because of that. Um, when she's doing her attacks, like... Not the headbutt attack, but, um... Like when she's spitting stuff out and all that, like this, you can't hit her. So don't like waste your ammo or anything like that. I don't believe the beam works, it didn't look like it worked a second ago. Switch back. Oh, shit. I don't know why I did that. I knew that was a stupid idea. But there's your proof that it doesn't work. I always put on the super first because it's going to auto switch back to regular missiles as to where regular missiles don't switch back to the super. So it just works. Now go ahead, fill me up. It's not too bad, I really like it just because it's 
Like, I don't like things that make me mad, alright? If you're making me mad, I'm not gonna like you too much. And that's exactly what this does. It, it gives you a challenge, but if you got if you bothered to make the effort into getting everything you needed to, it's not bad. That's all there is to it. I got plenty of maybe not plenty of health. We're not doing too bad though. Uh, yeah, it's better to not even try and focus on collecting shit because of how quick she was going. So, like, if you're sitting there, like, playing around and all that, you're not going to be doing too hot. It's better to focus on attacking her and then worry about things as they come later. Up. Uh. I made a mistake and forgot it was power mis power bomb. I thought it was regular bomb. So look, I got four health left because I made that mistake. Um, so my first time playing, I got like all the way up to here, and then she killed me within a single second. That's the last part. It's an easy part, just a single power bomb. I just made the mistake of thinking it was a regular bomb. Right now there is no music, but yeah, that's that's it. She's not so bad as long as you made the effort to get things. Okay, real quick. So right here, that's a loading zone. If I am not careful, she will walk off the map and she will just fall straight down here until eventually there's no more data and the game crashes. While that's happening, it's going to keep showing me this screen while Samus falls to her doom. So the one way I figured out how to get through this is to jump. So throughout the rest of the loading zones in this game, before the end of it, I have to jump through all the loading zones or I will fall through the map and die. If that's an issue you've had, there's your solution. Okay, so here's the fun thing. If I had jumped just a little bit too high, I would have died because I would have clipped out of the bounds area, and when you hit out of bounds, you take damage. So I, I had to be really careful. I was quiet there because, again, I think immersion is important. So It's not that I didn't have anything to say. It's that I didn't want to say anything. 
But there you go, that was my experience with Metroid 2, the remake version. Um, next would be um, Super Metroid. I understand that there's, I believe chronologically it's supposed to be Zero in the Prime games, but um, I think, it, firstly, the Prime games are considered non-canon, quote-unquote, so a lot of people don't like that, but like the things that happen in the Prime games typically, as far as I'm aware, aren't like super story heavy into the Metroid thing. It's like, hey, here's what's important to this trilogy, as opposed to here's what's important to everything kind of thing. I know that there's corrections on that because there's a lot of um, Chozo lore and a lot of things about Ridley and all that, but like it's it's a lot of phase on stuff as to where this is like, here's the last Metroid, man, and it deals with space pirates and Metroids, but I don't know. The point is, I'm saying that this follows the timeline to where, when I start Super Metroid, it's going to make sense. Because the very first line of that game references this. That's where I'm kind of going with what I'm saying. Okay? Is it going to do the original staff? 420, yo, 420.99.77. Wait, are you telling me I actually got less collectibles by like 1%? What a bunch of shit. So you remember how I told you it was completely time-based? Well, let me go ahead and show you what happens for making neutral ending. And here's your reward for best ending! There you go. I timed that just right. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I really, excuse me, I really thought the credits were longer than that. But, uh, yeah, that, you know what, that didn't even take as long as I thought. I started up a new recording just to record ten minutes. I don't want a bunch of shit. Uh, but yeah, there you go, Metroid 2, um, highly recommended. Again, I'm not gonna drop a link just because if I'm gonna put a download link, say, hey guys, grab this, and then it goes expired, then I gotta constantly stay on top of it. That's why I refuse to put links, because... There's no sense in me putting something that's probably going to get taken down anyway. That's That was my thread of logic, in case you didn't know that. It wasn't because I was against the idea. It was because I didn't want to put a link that's just going to end up expired or taken down or something. All you got to do is just Google another Metroid 2 remake, and then you should find it pretty fucking easily. So, there you go. Great game. A lot of fun. Uh, we will see you with Super Metroid. Um... As far as what's next next, I don't know. If you want me to be honest, the, like, the first thing that's come to mind is Pokemon. But I also kind of feel like just not worrying about anything for the moment, so I'm just going to worry about it later. I'll see you guys later. JC4R.